Scorpio, honey. <clears throat> Getting to that point. You didn't need a lot today. I am going to be reading you today. <laughs> Shit. I'm going to be reading you your proofread. That's what it is. And I'm using three decks. The first one is the Threads of Fate Oracle. The Rose Gold Edition. And um, I'm also going to use the Tarot of the Divine Masculine. as well as the Moonology Oracle deck. And I am going to... I'm going to cut each deck. On cam, which is kind of like, you know, kind of time consuming in terms of like film you know the time that eats up you know space in the video what are we doing My Scorpio energy is kind of, is there, bitch. <laughs> Pluto is also connected to Aries as well, just like Mars is. Oof. I want to finish all of these like boom, 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 but I'm like, bitch, you might need to go and sit your ass over there for a second. Do I have one more? creator yes you are the creator of your destiny you are your karma and you are the one that is in control of your destiny did i already say that shit very much connected to like the magician being in your power okay uh and and the power of intention is very strong you know so make sure that you are exercising the power of intention when you are doing everything you are creating when you are eating when you are exercising you know what i mean intention is everything okay and what are you creating what's new in your life what are you trying to be bold about doing and what are you trying to push for now this also is talking about living in the moment the creator is talking about like uh, like the energy of god and also your existentialism right so your existence 
is the reason why you're able to create you know so by creating you are honoring your existence let's look at what your wow well, let's look at what your tarot card is the lovers as above so below very much mercury okay you are an extension of everything around you or you are a uh, a, a, a segment of a whole of everything around you where you are part of everything around you you know what I mean but you are a vessel that everything you are a vessel that has been shaped into a form that can carry out you know acts of affirmation you know, affirming who you are through what you do, okay? Your potential, realizing your potential and making the best of that potential, okay? By not taking advantage or not taking anything for granted. That's what the lover's card is here too for because a lover's card is... It's Gemini, but it's also the sixth house, which is Virgo, okay? So it's talking about the power of the mind. It is talking about what we are attached to changing our beliefs okay and a new a newly formed adaptation of ourselves or of our reality okay so we're having to compromise and we're having to adjust to our new reality with the lovers because it is mercury so it's new it's anything that's new or innovative okay or haven't haven't seen before haven't touched before haven't felt before haven't smelled before you're just understanding this you're just getting used to something you know um yeah it could be a new role you're just getting used to like this new lifestyle, okay? Or doing things in this way uh, because it is talking about Mars as well with the lovers being here only because, oh, the sixth ray of consciousness is tied to the planet of Mars, darling. So it is looking before you touch and thoughtful process not doing something haphazardly just because you can do it but putting thought into what it is that you are doing create with intention and thoughtfulness Your commitment is being tested, right? And that's what the lovers is, committing to an idea. That's why I said Mars is connected to that sixth ray. Because Mars, is Mars committing to an idea? No, they want to do this and then they, okay, this isn't serving me, it's, it's boring. I want to do that. Very much like Aries type of energy, right? So, the lovers wants you to be consistent. Be consistent with whatever it is you're doing or whatever, you, whatever it is that you have um, attached yourself to process, right? A process that you have attached yourself to, be consistent within that process, okay? Show up. Be practical, logical, um, and make sure that the work speaks for itself. 
Your commitment is being tested. Your creative ability might be being tested. Uh, and the, the first quarter moon is, you know, the first half of the moon before the full moon. So it's two weeks leading up to the full moon. So the next full moon is, that's right now. You're being tested right now. Because we had the new moon on the 6th, and then the full moon is going to be on the 20th. So that first quarter moon is a week from the 6th, which is the 13th, I think. So that's going to be in like two days or something like that. So on the 13th of October, which is in two days, uh, one day from now, if you're watching it like on the 12th, uh, your commitment is going to be tested with something in some kind of way. Or it already is, you know? Maternity, not maternity test, but like a uh, fertility test. Uh, oh my God, sorry. <laughs> but whatever you are thinking about committing to, right? It's, it's going to be like, oh, it's getting more real now. It's getting real now. It's getting closer to the same sort of being something now, you know? Anyway, Scorpio, that's going to be you. That's you. Okay, so your commitment is being tested as you try to create something new and not get distracted by, you know, whatever is out there to distract you, you know, just make sure you stay uh, consistent and persistent because the lovers also talks about persistence. Your persistence is also going to... Um, make you look good okay it's gonna land you the win thanks Scorpio bye